My first local pageant was four years ago. I was sporting a striped spray tan, my extensions were bought at a convenience store, and my shoes were lined with maxi pads instead of gel insoles. I'm sure that those of you who witnessed my early pageant days can attest to the journey that has brought me here tonight. This past year was filled with the most amazing opportunities, and the Lord has blessed me in ways I could have never dreamt of. But it wasn't the lights and cameras that made my year so special. It was because of each of you who has gone down this glitter-stained road alongside me that made these past four years life-changing. To my LSPs, Finley, Annalise, and Madison, thank you for being so great this whole year. You were each at Miss Texas week cheering me on and always making me feel like Miss America. You girls rock. To my pageant sisters, Christine, Victoria, Catherine, Emily, and of course the Jordashians. Thank you all for the laughter, support, and teaching me so much throughout these years. Your friendship is what makes this journey so special. Colby, I had so much fun with you and our friend Drew Barrymore at Miss Texas this past summer. Rarely can you find someone who can make you laugh as hard as you do, but your inner beauty outshines it all. I just adore you. Chris and Alex, our late night talks, talent analysis, and rhinestoning anything that would sit still has been some of my favorite pageant memories. I love being a part of your family. Ken, you were one of my first friends here in the pageant world. Your service to this organization is without a doubt one of the most selfless and generous acts I've ever witnessed. To my forever Mr. Texas, David White, you are not only one of the handsomest men I know, but also one of the most gracious. You've been so encouraging to me with just the right words to say. We never lose, we either win or we learn. Dolores, I have never laughed so hard in my entire life as I do when I'm around you. You've been so much more than a talent coach, but rather a life coach. You made light of hard situations and taught me about so much more than just being a better singer, but rather being a better person. Oh, and I'm still working on those lobster claws. My teeny queenie, being your miss back-to-back -back years has been one of the biggest honors of my life. I've watched you grow from my little teen queen into a beautiful young woman and I'm so proud of the person you're becoming. Larkin, you were the first person who ever told me that they believed I could become Miss America. From teaching me what the top five ballot was to what's going on in Congress and even how to overcome the donkey girl scouts of the world, you have been what took my perspective of pageants from a hobby to a passion and your friendship is something I will treasure for the rest of my life. Leslie, can you believe that we've made it here? Words cannot express the love and gratitude I have towards you. This past year, you were always whatever I needed in the moment, be it friend, mentor, stylist, or even running my social media at times. More than anything, I hope the next Miss South Texas realizes how lucky she is to have you as their director, and better yet, have you as their friend. To my family, you've been so supportive and watched me grow and change through this entire process. Your unwavering support and long hours spent encouraging me to follow my dreams is priceless. But to you, Mom, you are the only way I could be standing here on this stage right now. You have stayed up late watching old Miss America interviews with me, told me the truth when I didn't want to hear it, created earrings out of bracelets, and gave me unconditional love and support. This has been our journey together, and it was because of your belief in me that some of my wildest dreams came true. I found my place here with the Miss Texas family, and there truly is no place like home. For the last time, I'm your Miss South Texas, Kelly Krifko.